Hello everyone and welcome to episode 45 of the TW2020 UJPW series here on the channel. We are in the year 1997, our first tour of the year. It's the New Year Giant series as we get to see who will win the Million Battle Royal to take on Dr. Dusty Williams to main event the show. Of course at, at the end of the tour, uh, which will be, I mean, we'll take a look at exactly who that will be. It will be Kenta Kobashi. So this will be the first time that Kobashi has won it, but also the first back-to-back -back years where a Japanese native talent has won it. Uh, for the most part, it's been Gaijin, so Albright won it the first year. I want to say the 94th uh, New Year Giants series, I believe, that was Doug Furness. Uh, 95 was Vader, and then 96 was uh, Akira Taue, so... That's, uh, that's pretty cool to think that uh, we've really given this a lot of, as far as giving the Gaijins a lot of uh, opportunities to be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, also, uh, the co-main event might be the main event, though, of that first night after the Million Battle Royal. I think that's what we'll probably do. This will be the main event. Kensuke Sasaki and Hiroshi Hase taking on Mitsuru Masawa and Koji Kanemoto for the UJPW Unified Tag Team Titles. As, uh, if we're trying to just get rid of this, there we go, make that a lot easier. Uh, then we're going to jump to Night 4, which, uh, the Miracle Bonds connection, are going to take on Kobashi and Junakiyama in Night 4. A little building there, obviously, with Doc and, and Kinta Kobashi. Night 6, we're going to have Ultimate Dragon and Hayabusa take on the team of Kaiji Muto and Jushin Liger. So, obviously, you see there, we're going to have an All-Asia Heavyweight title matchup and a Junior Heavyweight title matchup between Hayabusa and Liger and Ultimate Dragon and Kaiji Muto. So, taking... Those two matches, putting them together in one in the tag match, and that's going to be a fun main event for night six. And then for night ten, same thing, but it's going to be Kobashi and Ayabusa versus Doc and Jushin Liger instead. Or as I fucked, I fucked that all up. Let's see if we can change that as uh, Jushin. There we go. Liger for night ten. Uh, so yeah, obviously it's going to be unified Grand Heavyweight you know title match and the Junior Heavyweight title matchup combined as one. And uh, then for the card, you know, we talked about the main event already. And the co-main event, it's going to be the Holy Demon Army versus, versus Mitsuha Masao and Koji Kanemoto. So you're going to see Masao and Kanemoto, and Kanemoto rather, are going to beat Sasaki and Hase on that first night to retain. Uh, so that should be fun. All Asia Everyway title matchup. Ultimo Dragon versus Kaiji Mudo would be a huge win for Ultimo Dragon. to be a double champion uh, as far as for Super Astro. He's still on the card, but he's a little bit lower down, on, as you can see there. But uh, we'll talk about that match in a little bit, but... Uh, as far as for the Junior Tag Team Champions to get a break after having the belts for a year, I think that's a good sign, you know, for them as far as giving them a little bit of a, a break there to start off the year. Then Hayabusa and Jushin Liger for the Junior Everweight title. Uh, it's crazy that this is kind of so far on the card, to be honest, when you think about it. It's not even the co-main or the match before the co-main. This kind of shows you how stacked this card is. Obviously, Hayabusa and Liger, they always have tremendous matches, so this should be no different. Then the Can-Am Express are going to take on the British Combat Club in an all-Asia title, tag team, rather, title matchup. As uh, That should be a, a fun little matchup, though. Can-Am Express have really gotten their shit together and have been quite the team uh, as far as they were. I think their projection changed a lot once Dan Crawford was out for a year. If he didn't get hurt, I think they would have been definitely one of the top teams. They already are one of the, you know, as far as, like, out of the top, I would say, in the top eight teams of UJPW, but they'd probably be a top five team if it wasn't for that injury. Uh, then, um, as far as Masahiro Chono, Shin Yashimoto going to take on Stan Hansen and Dan Spivey in a little tag matchup. Since Kaiji Muto, you know, is booked on the card, felt like to have Chono and Hashimoto have a tag match against Hansen and Spivey just makes sense. And uh, Eddie Guerrero and Wild Pegasus taking on Super Astro and the Great Sasuke. So with Eddie unmasking, basically... At, uh, you know, the, the Funka Returns, the U.S. show. We, uh, you know, we're going to separate the Black Tiger t 2 character with Eddie again. And as far as, so, you know, he's not going to be a part of the Holy Demon Army. He's back as being Eddie. And I felt like it's a good time to do this. You know, the Black Tiger 2 run, it was fun. But now that there's no Tiger Mask, I mean, sure, there's Sayama. But, you know, obviously there's no, you know, Koji Kanemoto's on Mask. So it just kind of feel like it's the right time. It's a nice change of direction for what we're going with as far as to give 
Eddie and, and Wild Pegasus and Dean Malenko, as far as that stable, that trio of guys, they work together so well. Uh, they you know, obviously they uh, you know as far as the real life friendship and it, it should be a great little trio. They're not gonna have like a, a stable name or anything, but they'll basically be a trio going forward. Uh, and then Super Astro and then Grace Sasuke taking on that Eddie and Wild Pegasus team. As obviously, you know, since Ultimate Dragon's booked, felt like we needed a match for Super Astro. And Super Astro and, and Sasuke and Ultimate Dragon, they've kind of loosely teamed up, you know, as far as in the past. It just makes sense there. Then the opener is going to be Tenkoji and Yuji Nagata against Flash, Smash, and Bash. So that's going to be Scott Norton, Brian Renegans, and Manamu Nakanishi. As obviously Satoshi Koji, Satoshi Koji and Mahiroshi Tenzan and Yuji Nagata to kick off the New Year Giants. So, I mean, that's a big... Opportunity for like Manabu Nakanishi and Yuji Nagata, though, for sure. Like, that's a major way to kick off the show. Like, think about like Terry Funk's not on the card or any of those kind of big names like that, but but they are, so that's kind of massive to think about. Uh, as far as we will get the first night out of the way here, get it rocking and rolling, because we have it quite the uh, long show, or the, quite the long show, we have quite the uh, long tour 13 days, 12 of it being tour shows. And it's backstage incident for Firecat. Oh, that's fun. And he was so drunk that uh, he was in no condition to work with. Uh, we will find him. We won't send rehab. We probably should have, but it is what it is. So, uh, we will have the Battle Royal not be the main, but the co-main. Uh, so the main will be this, Roshi Ase, Kensuke Sasaki against Masao and Kanemoto, as uh, Masao is going to be Kensuke Sasaki there. We're also going to have the British Combat Club with Ultimo Dragon taking on the Canon Express and Kaiji Mudo. Is uh, Dan Crawford's going to beat Steven Regal there in 20 minutes? Nice little win for the uh, future challengers of all Asia tag team titles. Jericho and John Ace against Shudo 3, which is uh, Osama Nishimura and Nuki Sano. Jericho's going to beat Osama Nishimura in 18 minutes. Yamasaki vs. Timon Honda in the undercard, and so is Izuka and Kazuka Vegeta. Suzuka and. Obviously, uh, Yamasaki are going to beat Honda and Fujita. So, yeah, now we can add the Battle Royal. As I believe, it's 20 man. I want to just remember real quick. Uh, let's go back to this. Ah, it's not going to say it. Damn. But, yeah, let's see if I was right, though. Albright, Doug Furness. Oh, I had the year. I think I had it flipped. No, but I think I, no, I, think I had the right year. But, yeah, Vader's debut and All Japan and then Tauway win. It. It's fun. So, and now it's usually been the co-main every time. Except for that, that wasn't even the co-main. That's crazy. No respect. But yeah, usually it's the co-main. But I want to say it's 20-man 20, 20 battle royal. want to say that is correct. I don't think I have it as the default. That'd be nice, though. Yeah, I don't. So we'll have to scroll on through. Yes. 20-man battle royal. Exclude everyone who's booked, so we can kind of trim this fat a little bit. Yeah, let's add Akatoshi Saito. Let's add Bobby Fulton. Let's add Brad Renegans. Ah, uh, let's go... Yeah, we'll go George Takano. We will go Hideki Ozaka. Yeah, Johnny Smith. Ah, uh, let's go... Yeah, we can use uh, Nakanishi. Let's uh, yeah, throw Aoyagi in there. We'll throw Mitsuya Mamoto in there. Choshu. And then now we'll kind of add some of the heavy hitters now. So Kobashi. We'll add Terry Funk. He's Terry. Uh, throw <laughs> no, it's not really a, a big name. A super strong machine. Uh, let's go with... Super Astro would kind of be fun to, to add in this matchup. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go Ogawa. Let's go Junakiyama. Yeah, let's, let's add Fuchi. This is nice. This is a nice little group, though. Uh, Masato Tanaka. Could be another one. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I have Uncle Jun in there. Oh, well, they can add Siyoshi Kikuchi while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, well, it's Wilkins Jr. to round it up for 20 men. So the final four 
So obviously Kobashi's winning. The final four we will have B. So I want the runner up to be Terry. I think Terry is the runner up would be fun. And obviously with Kobashi winning, we just need to pick two finalists. Uh I think Fuchi has won. And then uh trying to think who'd be a good Maybe Choshu, just because of the name value. Yeah, we'll go Choshu. I mean, that's that's fun. That's a fun little Final Four. Obviously, Kobashi, the biggest name in there, and, you know, it just makes sense. From that perspective, we'll have Sayama. Be the agent. So, for... Basically, we have the undercard pretty much set, so we just kind of need, like, the mid card and stuff. We need to steal the show matchup, though. I do know that. So we'll go with a tag. So yeah, obviously some some big names here. As uh, we'll go with Stan Anson and see Johnny Ace is booked up. I think Spy. So yeah, we could do a uh, Hanson Spivey. Nah, nah. Let's yeah. Let's uh, let's actually yeah. Let's do that against Tenkoji. Why not? Why not? Be a good opportunity for both teams. Specifically, more of Tenkoji. But, uh, we'll have Spivey get a win. Nice, nice, nice. So, bump that up, obviously. Probably go here. And then the uh, next matchup. We got a lot of tags. So we might go with a six man. So, we could. Uh, it'd be close to run Shudo. We could run uh, Kyoshi Nomura. Yeah, Yamasaki's already booked up. So yeah, I'd actually don't think we can. Oh, uh, that's fine though. It's no, no big deal. I'm gonna go Chono Hashimoto. And uh, for the junior for New Japan, or I guess the former, you know, Three Musketeers slash New Japan. So we'll use Hanaga for this. Then uh, the Headhunters and the Vampiro. Nice, nice, nice. We'll go 10 minutes. Uh, we'll have Chono, Hashimoto, and Hanaga win. So we'll have Chono be one of the Headhunters. That just seems fair. I think if we put that at slow build, so we gotta. Yep. Yeah. Good thing I caught that. That would have been pretty embarrassing. I think we'll put this here, yeah. Alright. Uh, but yeah, we'll pick a better venue for this. If we can. I know we're... It's only a lesser show and still like that many people. It's pretty crazy to think about. Uh, what did we run last year, I wonder? Oh, we ran the Tokyo Dome. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll run the Tokyo Dome then. Fine by me, kicking off the year in the dome. We'll run the first night here. 58 for the opener, Azuka beating Fujita. So 28 for Fujita, 66 for Azuka. Blockbuster hold there, and then uh, Yamasaki beating Timon Honda. 950. Not a bad win at all for Yamasaki. 81 for Nuki Sano and Osama Nishimura against Chris Jericho and Johnny Ace. Yeah, I mean, they were the better team. Nuki Sano and Osama Nishimura, so. There is that, but we're trying to elevate the blonde squad a little bit. Plus, Jericho's getting better, though, too, in that same breath. And 80 for Hashimoto, Chono, and Hanaga against Vampiro and the Head Hunters. Yeah, Hashimoto's best guy in the match. Probably could have had uh, him get a pinfall over one of the Head Hunters, but it is what it is. Another 80. It's Tenkoji versus Kojima and Tenzan. Tenzan's getting better. He's almost better than Spivey, so that's fun. But Spivey with the Spivey spike over. Hiroshi Tenzan, and Spivey was really off his game, though, so th there is that a 94 for this six man as Ultimo Dragon with the British Combat Club, losing to the Canon Express with Kaiji Mudo, Stan Crawford pinning, or rather submitting Steven Regal with the Corporal Clutch. It was a good match, though. Good match there. Obviously an upset, but we're trying to build up the Canon Express, build their credibility a little bit. 83 for the Battle Royal. I mean, that's not bad <laughs> compared to what we've done in the past with Battle Royals. Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, though. Mixed bag, rather. Don't know why we put Bobby Fulton in there. It is what it is. 
But yeah, Masato Fuchiki getting the most eliminations is pretty funny. Probably would have had that be Kobashi. But a 99 for our main event. UJPW Unified World Tag Team title matchup as Masao pinning Kensuke Sasaki with the Tiger Driver. Great stuff there. Masao and Kanemoto, 99s and 91s. Good shit. Third defense of their uh, their run as Unified World Tag Team Champions. Hell of a show. <laughs> that run that went very, very well. I'm very, very happy with, to start off the year 1997 with a good show like that. And on to the next night we go. Alrighty, night two, as they have us in the Komozawa Gymnasium. But yeah, I mean, that makes sense if we just, since we just ran the dome. Uh, yeah, um, I was thinking about maybe running uh, the Nippon, not the Nippon Budokan, rather, uh, the Gorgonal show here. But that that's alright, uh, you know, as far as Komozawa and Gymnasium, we're going to be close to a sellout, might as well. Kind of crazy, I just now realized our popularity is at 99 in Japan, at least in Kanto. To be exact. So, we have six matches pre-booked. Uh, as far as the main, probably this. Holy Demon Army versus Gladiator Titans. Now, this has happened twice. Uh, as far as the first time was in 93. And the second time was on the TV taping. So, technically, it's only been done on a tour you know, once before. And that was obviously in 93. So, it's been a long time since they've actually faced off against each other. Uh, the Holy Demon Army will win again, though, in that matchup. As uh, Tower is going to get the win. The co-main is uh, interesting because we really have a, like a lot of like undercard stuff. I guess this could be it. To, oh, that's right, we have the eight man. That's right. As uh, so, this could be up there instead if uh, we shall choose. So uh, Masato Tanaka getting the win there in 20 minutes. So yeah, let's just change this. I completely forgot about that. So let's uh, let's just go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah, as good as it can. Express. I don't know, though. It's tough, because I want to give, like, the Gladiator Titans, like, a chance to really show their stuff, because they don't really get that opportunity. And hey, maybe Junaki Yamato Kiyomori. I don't hate that. Yeah, but, uh... Because I believe, yeah, we've done this tag league two years ago, but other than that, hasn't really happened. So we'll give the uh, Gladiator Titans a win. Gladiator over to K.O. Mori. Yes, yes, yeah, so we'll have that be the main now, which uh, this was going to have Masato's not going to give the win, which is massive. Massive indeed. Oh my god, yeah, that's <laughs> just Jokiyama to K.O. Mori against Miracle Vines Alliance. Skidamori is going to beat Taz, so this is going to have to get changed again for the third time. So we, can't just, uh, we just can't seem to figure it out as far as... Uh... Oh, hold on. There we go. I think the best call is to have the uh, George Takano and Shunichi Takano in this matchup. There we go. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully this sets it. Uh, yeah, well, Gladiator will still win. We'll just have George take the fall. Good shit. Alrighty, so now, this Tactical Tactician Squad, Fantastics matchup, Steal the Show matchup, is we will be giving this... I'm surprised I didn't pick a winner. I believe it's because we just ran this, yeah, during the uh, Real, Ta Real World Tag League back in November, night three. Should give that to the Tactical Technician Squad. Let's give it the Fantastics this time around. Tommy Rogers could use a win. Let's have him beat, uh... Oh, yeah, let's just go with Otani. Fuck it. Then the undercard. Two Cold Scorpio to Mary Ishii. <laughs> this is just wild. To have that matchup is Ishii's gonna lose, obviously. And Wilder well, Wilkins Jr. over Kentora Shiga. So we need two more matches. Go with another tag. Uh, let's go with. Let's go Kaiji Mudo and. Yeah, let's go him and Hashimoto and against Ultimo Dragon. And I guess we could use Stan Anson for this. 
guess that could work. That was kind of weird, but you get the gist of it. And then we'll have Hashimoto beat Stan Hansen. Taking two matches on the final show, putting them in the one to build it up. And that's probably a better co-main anyway, so I don't hate that. Um, I, I kind of want to have another singles matchup to have three on the undercard. Just kind of see what we can use. I won't use a uh, Young Lion, though. Let's use the Toro Sako. A little junior matchup. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can use Kyoshi the more. We can use Eddie. I think Eddie would be great for this. Help him out a little bit. Eddie gonna get the win. Q Q Q. All right. Well, this should be good to go. Yep. Good to go. Let's run it. As a Wellington Wilkins Jr. beating Kentaro Shiga in ten minutes, sixty-seven for Wilkins Jr. Thirty-nine for Kentaro Shiga. The fifty of. Ishii, uh, with a 17, two close corporate with a 60, he was off his game, really off his game, it was Ishii, but yeah, it actually cooled the crowd, hopefully they get it back up with this match, which we do, as Eddie beats uh, Satoru Zaka with the Gory special, that gets a 70, it's not bad, not bad for a tour show, at all, a 72 for the sixth man of the Tackle Tactician Squad and the Fantastics, it's Tommy Rogers pinning Otani with a Tommy knocker, as uh, Rogers was really off his game, so that he was the worst guy in the match, but at least he beats the worst guy on the other team in Otani. 75 for Jun Akiyama and Takeo Mori against Taz and Terry Gordy. Better team wins. It's pretty close, though. But yeah, Takeo Mori with the Lariat over Taz in 15 minutes. 76 for the Takano brothers against the Gladiator Titans. Gladiator with the awesome bomb on George Takano. 84 for Kaiji Mudo and Shin Yashimoto against Stan Anson and Ultimo Dragon. Fun little, you know, as far as, uh, obviously, Kaiji Mudo Shin Yashimoto, the actual team getting the win, but it's nice that, you know, what a fun little, uh, strange bedfellows, if you will, as far as Ultimo Dragon and Stan Hansen being on the same team. But the vertical drop brain buster from Mashimoto on Stan Hansen is pretty awesome for a finish on a tour show and 80 main event. Bit brutal to see, uh, Damian Masato Tanaka do, and that's so great. Uh, really, Kawada was the one who carried this matchup for sure, as Masato Tanaka was a Tornado DDT over Damian. It's weird, uh, you know, as far as the show, wasn't all that great when you think about it from a tour show perspective, but at least this co-main event probably should have been the main, but it is what it is. As on to night three, we go. All right, night three. Took the backstage incident. It's Tauwe passing on psychology, the Masato Tanaka. So for this main event, I believe... It is the Super Generation Army Miracle Violence Alliance matchup. I believe, yes. Six-man tag. Kendo Kobashi, Seoshi Kuchi, and Jun Akiyama taking on. Dr. Steve Williams, Terry Gordy, and Taz. Jun Akiyama is going to beat Taz. Oh, this is a fun little matchup, though. It's Dean Malenko, Wild Pegasus, versus uh, the Great Sasuke and Tuko Scorpio. Obviously, Dean Malenko still de dealing with that injury, so that's why he's not on the final card. Uh, but this should still be a fun little matchup. Dean's going to get the win, though, even with his injury. And then we'll go with uh, Hiroshi Hase and Shiro Kashinaka and Shudo. Is Hase going to get the win over Yamasaki? It's a fun little matchup there. Fighting World of Choshu. We haven't really seen what Hase and Kashinaka can do. So maybe they have some good chemistry. You never know. Uh, Takano Brothers versus Deki Ozaka and Satoru Ozaka. As Shunji Takano is going to get the win in 10 minutes. So now some undercard stuff. Eddie versus Teo Kia. Eddie's going to get the win. And Brad Armstrong versus... Masaki Machizuki as uh, Brad Armstrong's going to get the win there. So, uh, you know, as far as that's a pretty solid six, we might be able to add, obviously, like, an upper to mid-card match is probably what we need to add the most uh, because, obviously, we have the, the undercard pretty much set. Uh, we might just go with another tag. It's always a, a safe bet. Uh, you know, as far as Jericho and Johnny Ace, not a bad call to have them team. Uh, I mean, we could have Choshu and Ishii, I guess, team up. In the end of the card, that's not a terrible idea. Blonde Squad. As the Blonde Squad will be getting the win. 
So we'll have Johnny Ace beat Choshu. I think we'll need a Steal the Show matchup, so we'll have that be next. It's the only thing we're missing. And then we should be uh, good to go. I guess we could have it be this if we really needed to, but I think we can have a, a better Steal the Show matchup. We'll have it be a six-man tag, though. Uh, let's go can -Am Express with the Grey Gama. So the Cam India Express. And uh, they'll take on the team. Oh, yeah, we'll go with British Combat Club, obviously. It's Norman Regal, Johnny Smith. First time meeting. That was just pretty fascinating since... Uh, as far as we saw these, you know, saw Regal lose to Dan Crawford earlier in the tour. We'll have him get that win back. Actually, now we'll have, we'll just have Johnny beat Greg Gama. I think that's for the best. See if they'll let us, see if they'll let us do this. You know, then we'll just get rid of that. It's perfect. Not a bad night. You know, as far as, I mean, I think we have a pretty decent little show. We'll have to be right before the Komei. See if we can run the uh, Sendai Sun Plaza. We can actually. Nah, yeah, we should probably still run the Sendai Sun Plaza. Probably for the best. Yeah, let's see if we get it. It's night three. Starts off with a 66. Brad Armstrong beating Machizuki with a side rush and leg sweep. Machizuki's getting really, really good uh, for a young lion, especially for how limited he's been used. But Brad Armstrong's st still killing it. It sucks that he doesn't have Eddie Gilbert to team with anymore. We gotta find something for him, though, for sure, because he's super talented. Eddie Guerrero beating Deo Kia. Eddie with a frog splash from 10 minutes. It's good shit there. 60 for Johnny Ace and Chris Jericho against Tamari Ishii and Ricky Choshu. Brutal, uh, but Jericho and Johnny Ace, decent little team. And there's Johnny Ace with the Ace Crusher, though, in 10 minutes. 68 for the Kano Brothers versus Hideko Ozaka and Satoru Ozaka. Shunji the Kano getting the submission win, though. And, uh, yeah, Shunji's kind of the man in that matchup. Best guy in the match by far. 78, though, for Hase and Shirakashinaka against Satoru Sayama in Yamazaki as the Golden Arm Bomber for Hiroshi Hase in 1817. Good win, though, for Hiroshi Hase. Good stuff. 77. Actually, I'm surprised this match was worse than the previous match. As, uh, Johnny Smith pinning the Ray Gun with the Death Valley Bomb. Very shocked by that. So there was a lot more, you know, talented people in this matchup. Crazy that Dan Crawford was the best guy in this match, though. So shout out Dan Crawford, killing it. Yeah, it's a 78 for Dean and Wild Pegasus for Tuco Scorpio and the Great Sasuke. Yeah, even with Dean's injury, he's still with an 84. It's only slowed him down a little bit. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, Dean Malingo getting the Texas Clover Relief win over the Great Sasuke. Probably should have been too cold Scorpio, but it is what it is. And then 87 for the bait of it. Is Junak Yama with a wrist clutch Fisherman's Buster in uh, just under 20 minutes. But yeah, good, uh, Doc killing it. Kobashi doing a good job there. So he was really off his game still with an 83. Not bad at all. Fun main event. I'm glad we got a uh, main event that was, was pretty solid for this show. Not bad at all. As on to night four, we go. Alright, night four. So we have as far as for this night. Main event will be this Kobashi Junakiyama Miracle Vines connection matchup, which we talked about earlier. As uh, Kobashi is going to get the win, though, as we'll have him lose to, uh, or we'll have Terry Gordy lose to him, rather. Miguel, as um, it's tough to really figure out what should be the co main here, if anything, as far as uh, Holy Demon Army, Fighting World, Choshu. This probably won't be the co main, but at least it'll probably be the, uh, the next match we'll add. As a Masatsunaka is going to be Ishii there. Then uh, Kikuchi and Takeo Mori against uh, Riki Choshu and Shirakashinaka. Takeo Mori is going to beat Riki Choshu, and that's going to be 10 minutes. Firecat and Terry Funk versus Chris Jericho and Johnny Ace. Jericho is going to beat Firecat there in 10 minutes. Chono versus Fujita. Chono obviously going to get the win. And then Shunji the Kano versus uh, Yoshiro Takeyama. Shunji the Kano obviously going to get the win there as well. So. It's weird because I think this should probably be higher. Because I think that match is going to be better even though it's only 10 minutes. Yeah, um, but uh, it's a good start. 
start for sure. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of play it by ear for the uh, next matches. Obviously, we need to steal the show matchup, so we will be adding that. It's tough because, like, Liger, El Samurai, like, we can't really do a whole lot because, like, now, you know, Firecat's obviously booked in a match. So it's just kind of kind of tough, you know, in that from that perspective. Guess we could do if this is Jin Station Zaki, then we'll have Kaijimudo. We'll have Dragon on this side. Or we can go Kaijimudo, Ultimate Dragon with Hayabusa, I guess, but it's a unique matchup. This will be the Steel the Show matchup. And so I will have L7 right beat Shinsei Shinzaki. We'll have a Steel the Show matchup here. This should be a banger, though, obviously, with the talent involved in that matchup. I will actually probably have this be the co main now. Just kind of makes more sense that way. I'm going to go with. You know, I kind of want to see. If Tenzan and Yuji Nagata have any chemistry, just just sometimes you just gotta throw shit at the wall and see if it if it sticks. Uh, we'll have Scott Norton and Manabu Nakanishi team up. Oh, uh, oh, flash and bash. As I will have Tenzan, we'll have him beat Manabu Nakanishi. Actually, you should probably have him beat Scott Norton. I think Scott should probably lose as far as we're trying to at least... I feel like we're kind of burying Manabu Nakanishi a little bit. This would, I think, would flow better that way. We'll see, though. We'll actually have that go after that, because that match kind of... It's going to be a tough one to sell. Ah. I should probably just rock with that instead. Yes, the old Star Lanes... For night four, we will run it. It's a 62 for the opener. I have great chemistry. Fuck yeah. Shuji Takana, though, getting the win in 10 minutes. That like gets a 62, 70, or a 65, rather, for Chono and Kazuka Vegeta. Chono with a 75, Vegeta with a 25. It's good stuff for Chono to at least look like a credible threat, you know, as far as that's nice to see. As a 61 for Yuji Takana and Roshi Tenzan. It's Manabu Nakadishi and Scott Norton. It's Tenzan with the Inakana Vice over. Uh, Scott Norton. It's nice to see him. Yeah, I mean, Yuji Nagata getting better. Manabu Nakanishi's even getting a little better. So that's, that's good to see. It's a 68 for Choshu and Kashinaka against Takeo Mori and Kyoshi Kuchi. As a Takeo Mori with the Lariat over Ricky Choshu. It's a big win for Takeo Mori. He gets a win just over, or just under rather, 10 minutes. Let's see what we get next up. 76. That's nice. There's the Holy Demon Army. Gets Fighting World Choshu. It's Masata Taka pinning Tomari Ishii with the Tornado DT. It's Fuchi with an 81. 74 for Ogawa. 54 for Masato Tanaka. Hase, the best guy in the match, with an 86. And Kensuke Sasaki do, uh, does pretty well there with a 73. Just Ishii. Got a long ways to go. A long, long ways to go. And as another 76 for Firecat and Terry Funk. It's Johnny Ace and Chris Jericho. Jericho with the Lion Tamer. It's funny. They were the actual... Uh, it was actually dead even. That's weird. Uh, we could have won either way, but Jericho with the Lion Tamer win. Just oh, uh, just under the 10-minute mark. The co-main event, six-man tag. Uh, El Samurai pinning Jin Seishin Saka with the Samurai Bomb. Yeah, I mean, Hayabusa and Ultimate Dragon. What a team that would be, obviously. And Kaiji Mudo and Jushin Liger killing it there with 91 and 90. Just a good match all the way around. That's going to be a tough one to top. For sure, but it... It does. The main event delivers. The 83 is Kobashi with the Orange Crush over Terry Gordy. It's good stuff. I mean, it was an upset, uh, but it was a believable one. Obviously, it got the crowd hotter, too, so that's nice to see. But yeah, super excited to uh, see how that Kendo Kobashi, Dr. F. Steve Williams matchup plays out. Because they obviously have, have great matches in real life, but uh, to have a match here for like, the Unified Grand Heavyweight title, like, that's, a, that's a big-time matchup, and I think that should deliver in a uh, big, big way. 
But yeah, first four nights in the books. We've had some pretty good matches so far. Nobody's gotten injured, so that's been a good sign. I just got to keep keep the good vibes going. On to night five we go. All right, night five got backstage incidents. So Tommy Rogers, Stan Hansen. Tommy Rogers brought for Russ's court. Excuse me of uh, not paying attention during a locker room meeting. It's Judge Stan Hansen found him get the incentive to buy a crate of beer for the locker room. And so that was a small positive impact for him. And then Kira Tawai passing on psychology to Masato Tanaka. Not bad at all. Main event will be that Super Generation Army, Holy Demon Army. I believe it's a six man, it's an eight man rather. As Tawai is going to beat the KO Mori in 20 minutes. That should be fun now. Six man as the co main. As uh, Hashimoto, Asio Chono, and Kaki Kobayashi against the Blonde Squad. As Jericho is going to beat Kaki Kobayashi. So this is so far. This has been a, a pretty good night just by looking at at this. So far, what we've added from the pre-booking page. Still, the show matchup here for Osama Nishimura and Yuki Sano against the Fantastics. So Osama Nishimura is going to beat Bobby Fulton in ten minutes. Then uh, Shudo are going to take on Firecat and Jin Shinzaki if uh, Satoru Sayama and Kyoshi Demora. This is going to be a nice win for Kyoshi Demora there. Johnny Ace Teokia. And he's obviously going to get the win, and Masashi Iwagi is going to beat Kazuki Vegeta. We're really just booking Vegeta as many matches as we can, it seems like. Uh, but we just, I need him to improve in a uh, major way. Ah, uh, you know, as far as for the two matches we can add, I would like to see, as far as, we'll go with, uh, since we used uh, Tenzan and... In Nagata, we can maybe try Satoshi Kojima in Yuji Nagata against Brad Rannigans and uh, Manabu Nakanishi as a smash and bash. There, as uh, Manabu Nakanishi, we'll get have him get a win here. It'll be nice to see. Uh, he can beat Nagata. Hopefully, you know we're ready for this as far as for Nakanishi. It's a big opportunity for him. Big time matchup. Kind of want to have another singles matchup, though, on the undercard. I know it's kind of not usually what we do. But I uh, was kind of looking ahead here as far as, uh, you know, Timon Honda has been used in a week. Uh, as far as, you know, Machizuki was used last, you know, Friday. But as far as Kinto Shiga, We just have so many, like, great undercard talent that we could use. At our disposal, like any given time. I think Timon Honda should definitely be booked, though. Just want to make sure. There we go. Um, I mean, Eddie's always a, a good shout out anytime I can get Eddie on the card. Of course, that's the first time meeting two between these two. Eddie getting the win, obviously. But uh, this should be a pretty decent matchup. I think it, it could be a believable undercard matchup. Because it's not like, you know, Tomat Nanda, I think he's, he's coming out of the Young lion stage. For sure, but... Uh, yeah, we'll run Shubu. You're on the Nagata City Gymnasium. Should be a sellout. For Night 5. It's a 46 for the opener. Not a great start. As I figured that was going to be a bit of a uh, roll of the dice there. 63, though, for Johnny Ace of Teokia. It's Ace Crusher. Teokia, I just feel like he's really improved just over these past couple of months. He's already in the 40s. Did Eddie and Timon Honda. It's the Frog Splash for Eddie in 10 minutes. 56 for uh, Brad Ryan against Manabu Nakanishi against Satoshi Kojima and Yuji Nagata. Of course, the team that doesn't have the chemistry uh, get the win. That's brutal. Yep, that's what I get. Brutal. 63 for the next matchup is uh, Tamar and Satoru Sayama beating Jinsei Shinzaki and Firecat. Even though they have great chemistry, still get outperformed. Does the Jinsei Shinzaki Firecat team. But yeah, Kyoshi Tamara getting the win over Fire Kick in the submission. One seventy-five for the next Shudo team against the uh, Fantastics. But uh, Summon Ishimura getting the submission win in 9-3-3, which Summon Ishimura was off his game. His worst guy in the match. Probably could have went to Nuki Sano, but they got the crowd buzzing somehow. So we'll gladly take that. Another 75 as Dan Spivey breaks his nose. That's tough. It's a solid co-main, though. It's weird that it's only a 75, I guess because Kunaki Kobayashi is involved, but Chris Jericho with a 62. That's really, really good to see. Solid shit there, and an 80 for a main event. 
as a Kiritawa pinning Takeo Mori with a dynamic bomb. Kind of crazy it's only an 80, but I guess uh, with Masao and Kawada, you know, as far as 85s and 80s, not the craziest ratings there. So I'm just kind of curious what's going on with Toshi Kawada. Any type of, oh, just holding back. Okay, that, that's, that's fine. <laughs> you can hold back on the tour show. No big deal. Uh, 79. Could be worse. Could be better, though. In that same breath. So we're almost at the halfway point. Little, uh, we'll, we'll be after the uh, show. We'll definitely be over the halfway point of the tour. As on to night six, we go. Alright, day six. As a uh, night six, rather, to be exact. The Taue passing on psychology again to Masato Tanaka. As uh, we will have. See, Ultimate Dragon High Boost of Kaiju Mudo Jushin Liger. That's definitely the main. It's going to be a time of a draw. 30 minutes. That match will go. Stan Anson and Jericho versus Hashimoto and Nuria Naga. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have that not be the co main. A lot of these are not really giving co main vibes, uh, but we'll, we'll just add this for now. Jericho's going to beat Anaga in 18. Kikuchin's Gail Morgan's Terry Gordy and Taz set for Steal the Show. First time meeting here, but uh, Sears Kikuchi's going to beat Taz in 10 minutes. The Shooto versus the Fantastics. In a six-man tag, as Kiyoshi Tamori is going to get the win. 17 minutes, that's a bit long, but it is what it is. I'm Minoru Tanaka versus Tomori Ishii. It's the first matchup. Minoru Tanaka is going to get the win. And then Choshu and Takayama is going to open up the show. Which, hopefully, that's not so terrible that it kind of kills the show. Because uh, that definitely has a good chance of that happening. So, go with the tag. I'm trying to think, as far as... Um... What we could do, might just go with a, a six man maybe instead. Go with a, uh... yeah, it's like um, Masawa, Kenamoto, and uh, we'll use Junakiyama. Little Super Generation Army, then Holy Demon Army, but uh, we'll have Fuchi, and obviously. The Holy Demon Army, Taue, and Kawada. Uh, so I'm gonna see if we've done this before. No, just usually eight man tag. So first time as a six man in this matchup. I uh, will give this to Masum Fuchi over Junakiyama. Could be the main event. Definitely could be uh, the main. Honestly, I think this is gonna be a really good matchup. But we'll have it be the co-main for now. And again, I kind of want to have another, you know, three matches on the undercard. So, uh, he, you know, here's the thing. I think using Baba to help elevate somebody could probably help. Now, who that person will be is a good question. Because it should probably be Satoshi Kojima. So, we'll use him. It's crazy we only had Kojima face Jam Baba once. Let them face off here. This will open up the show, though. This is going to be shit. Thanks to Giant Baba, but it is what it is. A tour show. We got to build up our talent. Even though that risk, you know, having a, a shitty match on the card. Yeah, or the Black Jiba Sports Center. Here we go. It's 47 for the opener. Satoshi Kojima beating Giant Baba with a cutter. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yeah, 48. It's <laughs> Choshu and Takayama. It's Takayama. Uh, as far as he, he does not perform, but Choshu was off his game. It's, uh, Ricky Choshu is a lariat in 941. It's 47. Jesus. We're just shit in this undercard. It's Minoru Tanaka beating Tomori Ishii with Roundhouse Kick in 956. 63 for Shudo versus the Fantastics. It's Kyoshi Damar getting the win for the Shudo team. Not a bad little six man. Now the Steal the Show matchup doesn't really steal the show, as uh, Kikuchi and Takeo Mori beating Taz and Terry Gordy. They were the better team, so it makes sense, but just sucks that we couldn't get the crowd involved here. Beating Shinya Shimoda and Nariya Hanaga as a Lion Tamer from Jericho. 82 from Super Generation Army and the Holy Demon Army as a Fuchi tabbing out Junakiyama with the STF. 
Not bad at all. It's the co-main. Ah, oh, damn. Main event doesn't really deliver, which is unfortunate. Because everybody was a 83 and above, but it only gets a 74. Not sure what happened there. The time limit draw finish. That's unfortunate. We really nicked that up. That was <laughs> that was real bad. Yeah, we uh we were really lenient with that undercard. That's what happens though when you get lenient with that. It fucks up the whole show. It's on to night seven. We get all right. Day seven as they got us in Osaka for this one. That's perfectly fine. As uh, we will probably run the well. I mean, you could probably run the World Memorial Hall and it'd be fine, or the, um, Osaka Perfectional Gym. It'd be fine. Yeah, we'll just do that. We will just do that. Uh, so the main event. Doc with, uh, the Holy Demon Army, taking on the Kiritawe, or not, uh, excuse me, not the Kiritawe, taking on the Super Generation Army. Obviously, the team that is used to teaming up together, Super Generation Army, are gonna beat the, uh, the challengers in this case. It's He's going to beat Toshak Kawada, so that's fun to see that. Um, oh, you know, let's have it be Tawei instead. I think that'd be better, yeah. Just makes more sense. British Combat Club versus the Can-Am Express, so it's going to be Steven Regal and Johnny Smith against uh, the Can-Am Express. Up first, it's going to be Johnny Smith there in 20 minutes. Uh, then the sixth man of Eddie... Wild Pegasus, Dean Malenko against Super Astro, the Great Sasuke, and Tuchel Scorpio. Super Astro is going to beat Dean Malenko. Uh, then, yeah, we'll go with Ishii and Shirakashinaka, Tactical Tactician Squad. Funaki is going to beat Ishii. And obviously, the Young Lion matchups, El Samurai, Shinsei Shinzaki, which El Samurai is obviously going to win, and Vampiro versus Demon Honda, which Vampiro will be winning. Uh, let's go with a six-man. Headhunters versus... Uh, Headhunters and Damien, rather. We'll take on the six-man team. If I think it would be a good, oh, we might go with uh, the Kano brothers with uh, Shinichi Nakano. That'd be that'd be nice. Be nice to see Damien over Shinichi Nakano. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we'll go there. As uh, for the final match, see what we get as far as there's a normal tag. Might go with a Jericho Johnny East tag match. Which I think would be a the best kind of case scenario for this. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Maybe, um... Yeah, maybe Nuki Sano and, um... Nosawa Nishimura. Not a bad call. Might even just go with the Fantastics. Don't hate that. Oh, we'll go with Jackie and Tommy Rogers, since we haven't really... used uh, Jackie and Tommy Rogers a whole lot. We'll have Jericho over Jackie. And that is day, or night, rather, seven in the books. Just like that. If I have to go here. Oh, yeah, we need to still show matchup, which that will be this. Perfect. So 67 for Vampire on Damien, or Vampire on Damien. Vampire vs. Damon Honda as a vampire with a nail in the coffin. 67, 73 for El Samurai and Jinsei Shinzaki. Samurai clutch there for El Samurai. As a tactical technician squad beating Tomer Ishii and Shirakashi Naka. As a Funaki t pinning Ishii with the Rising Sun. It's crazy, Ishii has not really improved a whole lot when we've given him a lot of opportunities, to be honest. So that's not a good sign. Uh, but hopefully, it'll click for him a little bit. But Jackie and Tommy Rogers forgot they have excellent chemistry. Should have probably been using them a whole lot more. Uh, but Jericho tapping out Jackie Fulton, the Lion Tamer. It was actually a really good match. Glad we said it as a Steel Show match. Got the crowd buzzing. There's a six man. Damien the Head Hunters beating the Kano brothers with uh, uh, Shinichi Nakano as uh, 
you have uh, the Takano brothers, rather, with Shinichi Takano, Damian pinning Shinichi Takano with the um, marionette that has uh, the head on her, 76, 75. Damian with a 60, though, so that's, that's cool to see. Just we gotta give, you know, Damian and Vampiro, I think they should probably be a team that's a little bit higher on our, our roster for sure. Uh, but yeah, the sixth man of Dean Wildbex is Eddie Guerrero versus Two Cold Scorpio with Great Sasuke and Super Astro. Good little matchup. Good little six man Super Astro with the Astro Scissors over Dean Malenko. Though. That's a huge win for a Super Astro. Another 83, Super Astro Combat Club, KM Express, which you know, Johnny Smith and Regal. Doug Furness hitting the Frankensteiner on Johnny Smith. And a 94 for the six man of Doc and uh, the Holy Demon Army against the Super Generation Army. Obviously, Super Generation Army getting the win. As a Kobashi with the Brain Buster over Tawei. Just makes sense. You know, it's crazy. Masao was really off his game. So was Kobashi. But Kobashi at least was... Um, you know, he had an 88. But I don't know what's going on with Masao. Don't know if he was just off his game. Or he's got morale issues. Take a look. Oh, just inconsistent on the back. Okay. It's wild though. He only got a 79. That was actually a really good uh, tour show. Not bad at all. Not a bad little show 92 we'll glad they take that obviously a banger of a main event they have that type of talent in the main event's obviously going to deliver as a, on to night eight we go all righty night eight as uh, we got backstage instance Tawei, passing on psychology again to Masato tanaka as uh we will have for this show i think the biggest thing uh that we need as far as uh for the main event probably this Steve Williams, Taz, Kobashi, Kikuchi matchup. This Kikuchi is going to be Taz in uh, 20 months. This six man, though, of uh, Hashimoto, Chono, and uh, Naria Naga against the Blonde Squad. As uh, Chono's going to be Dan Spivey. So that's a big win for uh, Chono and, and Shinya Hashimoto. This would be a 20 minute matchup. Then uh, probably High Boost of Firecat for Cell Samurai and Jushin Liger. Steel Show matchup is Liger's going to beat Firecat, obviously. So they've had a couple of tag matches in the past. Uh, but really, it's only been, as far as the last one was, in 1995. So it has been a, a hot minute, but they have had them in the past. And Firecat, of course, is going to be struggling working that pace. As the Headhunters are Staccato Brothers, Headhunters are going to get the win since we did, you know, Damien with the, the Headhunters against Takano Brothers and Shinichi Takano, which makes sense to do the actual tag match. Uh, yeah, and then Johnny Ace, Kazuki Vegeta, and Johnny's going to get the win, and Eddie Carrera versus Kentor Shiga. Eddie, of course, is going to get the win in that matchup. Uh, let's go with... What was Wild Pegasus versus... Ooh, this would be... No, let's not go with that singles matchup, actually. Instead, let's go with a tag. I think we should try and find a, a partner for Brad Armstrong. Just kind of look and see who we could use. For it to at least also make sense, but also, I think, to try and find that, that, uh, that someone for him. Well, we might just try him and Machizuki out just for... Since we haven't used Machizuki in a hot minute. Not a terrible idea. Let's have him take on the Tacto Tactician Squad. So give the win to Minoru Tanaka over Machizuki. Plus, since we haven't used Machizuki in a hot minute. Just kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll put it just above the Johnny Ace Kazuki Vegeta matchup. In the last match for the show, we will go with, uh, I think we'll go with the Kinsuke Sasaki Roshi Hase tag match. As uh, let's go with Sadeki Osaka and Satoru Osako. Just to get them on the card as well. Obviously, they'll be losing to the much better team. Against case Sasaki gonna get the win. I'm assuming this is the first time matchup, yep. Sure is. Alrighty. Yeah, I guess we'll run the oh Hiroshima Sun Plaza. For night eight. It's Eddie beating Kondor Sheik with a Brave Buster. 931. So I got a 64. Same thing for this matchup. Johnny Ace and Kazuki Vegeta 
as an ace crusher from Johnny Ace. 72 from Johnny Ace. Gives you Vegeta close to getting in the 30s. Still got a ways to go. Minoru Tanaka and Shinichi Funaki beating the Brad Armstrong uh, Masaki Machizuki team. So Minoru Special on Machizuki in 1030. That was a 73-78 for the Hase Kinsuke Sasaki Satoru Osaka Deke Osaka matchup. Northern Light Bomb from Kinsuke Sasaki. As uh, Northern Lights Bomb, though, that would have finished, though. Absolutely love that. And especially somebody that, that's uh, on the smaller side, like Satoru Osaka. I mean, Kinsuke could probably drive him into the mat. Be pretty sick. It's an 80 for the Headhunters in uh, the Takano Brothers. It's Headhunter B getting the win, beating uh, George Takano with a diving leg drop. So I got an 80-70, though, for Hayabusa and Firecat against El Samurai and Jushin Liger. Got the crowd buzzing still, but boy, that, you know, Firecat was pretty abysmal in this matchup. Shooting Star Press from Liger on Firecat in 7 minutes. A 75 for the 6 man of Hashimoto, Chono, and Nari Hanaga against the Blonde Squad. Tanaga and Jericho, both with 56s. That's a good sign as far as for Hanaga. I know we wanted to get him some wins, I think, you know, teaming up with... You know, some guys like, you know, the Three Musketeers and stuff like that. I think that's really going to help him out. But Chono, uh, getting on the Yakuza kick over Dan Spivey. 20 minutes and an 86 for the main. As Kobashi and Kuchi beating Doc and Taz. It's a fun match. Fun match for sure. As uh, Kikuchi pinning him in 20 minutes. 85. Not bad at all. So yeah, we just have, you know, days 9, 10, 11, and 12 of the tour part. And then obviously the final show. As uh, we, uh... So far, I think it's been a, a pretty solid tour. You know, again, we're we're uh, we're getting very lucky without having any injuries or anything like that. We're just uh, moseying right along. As on to night nine, we go. All right, night nine has as I guarantee you. Oh my God, Tawei <laughs> just keeps on passing that psychology to Masato Tanaka. So uh, for this one, I think uh, the main event will be this Super Junior Nature Miracle Alliance Alliance matchup, six man tag. Doc's going to beat Junaki. I'm a nice win for the Miracle Bonds Alliance to get some some good vibes going their way. And uh, then we'll have... It's not really the best co-main event, so we'll probably have to add another one. But this should be a fun little matchup, though. Blonde Squad versus uh, Shudo, which is uh, Nuki Sano and Osama Nishimura. So, uh, Nuki Sano is going to beat Johnny Ace. I believe they've had a match that was... Uh, yeah, it's a New Year Giant Series for Night 1, I was about to say. Which, uh, that got a night, an 81, rather. So it's nice to be able to run this again, and should be a, a pretty solid little matchup, actually. Uh, then uh, Naria Naga with Hideki Osaka and Satoru Osaka against the Tech Technician squad. As Otani's going to get the win in 10 minutes. Then we'll have Flash and Smash against Tenkoji. Obviously, we're doing the six-man with uh, Nagata uh, and the Manabu, Naka Manabu Nakanishi. So it's nice that we'll be able to do the tag match here. Spry Vatican's going to get the win. That's set for Steel to Show. As well, Terry Funk versus Timon Honda. I think everybody knows how that's going to play out. Same thing for Wellington Wilkins Jr. and Teo Kia as well. So, we're actually going to roll the dice a little bit and have Yuji Nagata and Manabu Nakanishi have a singles matchup. I know that should not go over well because they're both going to be considered unimportant. So, we'll have it kick off the show. Hopefully, Terry Funk and Timon Honda and steal the show matchup, get it back on the right track. But we'll have Nagata get the win. Thought about giving it to Brad, or not, not to Brad, to uh, Manabu Naganishi, but I think that's for the best there, and uh, we could probably use a better, you know, Komei, just kind of look and see, you know, Eddie and Dean could probably team up, have them take on uh, the Two Cold Scorpio, Great Sasuke team. We have a fun little match. Oh, yeah, we had the six man, but obviously we uh, did not do a tag match of this variation. That was night seven, too. I will give Dean the win this time. He's going to be too cold. Not bad at all. Very Gaijin heavy, though, That the upper part of the card. I'm, I'm super excited to see how it plays out, though, as far as there's some pretty solid stuff on there. I don't know why they want us to run somewhere where we just ran it night six. Um, oh, wow, we've went around the block. That's interesting. Uh, we'll go with uh, the Dream Meets, then. Or the uh, Sendai Sun Plaza, rather. So, yeah, 41. Uh, Eugene, the guy, almost with a 60, though. Like, that's 
he's ready. <laughs> we just gotta get him out of the uh, unimportant phase. That's definitely gonna help him out a lot, though, uh, with that win with the belly of the back suplex. That's that's super impressive. Super impressive to have a 58 like that. So 61 for Wellington Wilkins Jr. over Teo Kia. It's a submission win for Wellington Wilkins Jr. And then Terry Funk, the pile driver of Timon Honda. So he's almost in the 50s. Timon Honda, so that's nice to see. 66 for Scott Norton and Brian Renigans against Satoshi Kojima and Oroshi Tenzan. As uh, Scott Norton probably should have got the win there instead of Brian Renigans. But uh, it is what it is. Still, I mean, pretty back and forth matchup, though. Didn't steal the, or at least didn't get the crowd back into it, though, unfortunately. So that's, that sucks. But Otani's going to get the win with the Cobra Clutch over Naria Hanaga. Pretty solid undercard. Six-man matchup, though. Pretty decent. And then, yeah, Johnny Ace and Chris Jericho losing to Nuki Sano and Slama Nishimura. The scoop brain buster there for uh, Nuki Sano over Johnny Ace. Good stuff. Just a better team gets the win. Makes sense. An 80 for uh, Dean and Eddie over the Grey Sasuke and Tuco Scorpio. Dean with the Texas Clover Leaf over Tuco Scorpio in 2016. It's an 82 for our main event. Doc with the Dr. Bomb on Junakiyama in 20 minutes. Taz with a 55. <laughs> it's uh, it's funny, he's always been like plateaued at that area, but you figured eventually it's going to kick in, but I really don't think it ever will. <laughs> we kind of gave up on him in like 94, so I figured maybe if we just kept on at it, but no, that has not been the case at all. But an 80 uh, for the show. That's not terrible. Could have been a lot better, but it is what it is. As we're almost at the double digits, though. We're, we're at the double digits now, uh, going into night 10. And uh, hopefully, again, we uh, end out the tour with no injuries. Alrighty, night 10. As uh, we have no backstage instance, it was nice to see. I will probably... I mean, we could run somewhere in, in Kanto here, because obviously the Tokyo Dome is the biggest we can run, and we'll probably sell that out no problem. So, uh, there, there is that. As far as where we want to run, obviously the Komazawa Gymnasium now is, is at the point where uh, we'll sell. Uh, we'll probably have to run the uh, Kawasaki Civic Gymnasium. That'd be pretty cool to do. Just a thought. Oh, we might go to the Chubu though. I know we. Uh, there's always you know different types of venues we can. Well, it would be. It wouldn't be a sellout. So there is that. That's kind of got me a little. Nervous about it. I will go to the Star Lanes instead. I feel like that's for the best. Uh, but yeah, but for the main event will be this Holy Demon Army Super Generation Army Six Man, I believe. Skoji Kanemoto is going to beat Masato Tanaka. Well, actually, this should be the main. <laughs> Kendo Kobashi and Ayabusa, Dr. Destiny Williams, Shushin Lager are going to be the draw. Heavyweight champs, junior champ, teaming up. You love to see it. Uh, then we'll go with... It's kind of crazy. Uh, we went pretty uh, pretty bad on the uh, side of things. We'll, let's uh, change out um, Yuji Nagata while I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, let's go Jericho. Have to get him out of the... Oh, that's right. That poor chemistry. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, we might go with Tommy Rogers here. Just to try to get him out of the unimportant phase as well. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, Tenzon, Yuji Nagata against uh, Smash and Bash. Yuji Nagata is going to beat, I don't know why, as Tenzon. He's going to be beating Brad Renegans. There we go. Uh, but yeah, there's, there should be a fun little matchup. Then, uh... Yeah, probably Brad Armstrong and Teo Kia is probably going to be the better matchup. It's going to be a, a pretty solid undercard, though, until uh, Giant Baba and Tommy Rogers happens. But it is what it is. So our two matches we'll add. Uh, we'll go with tag matches. Just makes sense. So, you know, Too Cold and the Great Sasuke, they could use a win. So we're going to have them beat Hozaka and Satoru Sako. Actually, we'll go with um, George Takano and Shinichi Takano. I feel like that'd be better use of that. So I'll have two cold beat 
Nakano. Nice. The final match to add. Uh, you know, as far as... You know, uh, Jericho and Johnny Ace could be used. I think that's what we'll do. See who they should face. It's crazy. We could probably use... Uh, like a lower card Gaijin for Terry Funk to team with. So we don't really have that right now. So this would be a great opportunity to do that. But yeah, I think this will be the Hideki Ozaka. Let's do our Zako team. Use him here. First time meeting. Give Jericho the win. Just good stuff all the way around. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like it's going to be better than that match. All right, let's run the show. Yep, terrible. Bob breaks his wrist. How fun. Tom Rogers of the 58, so yeah, he definitely should not be in the unimportant section. So, Maso Fuchi, Masaki Machizuki as uh, Fuchi with the STF at 956. Yeah, Machizuki was really off his game, so he drops below the 30s, but Fuchi came into a solid the matchup. Then Brad Armstrong strains his bicep, so we got two injuries. Thank God it's in the undercard, though. That is brutal. Two bro, two bro. Well, 66 for Sasuke and Two Cold Scorpio against Shinichi Takano and George Takano. Scorpio Splash for Two Cold. 67 for Johnny Ace and Jericho against Satoru Ozaka and Deke Ozaka. Jericho's almost in the 60s. Great stuff. Yeah, I forgot Manabu Naganishi and Brad Rannigans. They don't work well as a team. And uh, this hurts them here. Uh, but Yuji Nagata pinning Brad Armstrong. Or Brad Armstrong. Brad Rannigans, rather. The Rain Buster in 940. Yeah, not, I mean, probably should have been a little bit lower on the card. It is what it is there. It's Holy Demon Army, Super Generation Army, six-man tag. Koji Kanemoto, the Moonsoul over Masato Tanaka. Just some good stuff all the way around there. Then the time of a draw in the main gets an 86. Got the crowd interested again. So, yeah, we haven't had, like, that crazy match of the hot minute on the tour show. But, obviously, we know what the finals is going to be like. So, it is uh, what it is. But... Yeah, just two more tour shows left. Nights 11 and 12. I mean, we're finally getting some injuries, which makes sense for having such a long tour like this. That's bound to happen, but hopefully uh, we get through it unscathed as far as for people that are on that final show. Because that would suck, seeing an injury here right at the end of the tour. Alrighty, night 11. It's backstage instance. Wow, a lot of them. Chono is for Russell's court. Cues are not joining the rest of the locker room for a night out. The judge stands in found them guilty and sends by drinks right up to the show. It's Taue and Masato Tanaka, of course, using psychology. Passing on the psychology tips, this Taue to Masato Tanaka. Liger was put over Drew Nakayama, that's pretty sick. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So, the uh, main event here, uh, you know, it's probably going to be this Chono, Kaiji Muto, Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro matchup. This Kaiji Muto is going to beat Super Astro. Of course, this was a match that happened during the Tag League last year. It's Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro won that matchup. It's crazy. They've had, you know, as far as one and one and, uh, you know, Chono and Mudo getting the, uh, win in the trilogy matchup. The junior champs take the loss. There, then, uh, we have the k Express versus the British Combat Club in singles matches. I think we'll have Crawford and Norman be the co-main. Crawford's gonna win, which will mean <laughs> Regal's gonna beat Doug Furness. Then we'll have, uh, I guess we'll add this fighting world of Choshu. Versus the uh, Gladiator Titans with Damien. Shirakashi Zaka going to beat Damien. I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, at least Kinsuke Sasaki and Hiroshi Hase. They'll probably be the better you know, performers in this matchup. Not sure how I feel about that. Then Johnny Smith. Tomori Ishii. Johnny Smith obviously going to get the win. And Vampiro versus Mitsuya Mamoto. Mitsuya Mamoto still can't even work an 8 minute matchup. How about 6? There we go. So we'll need to steal the show matchup. That should be the easy part. Then we'll add one more matchup. Just gonna see how it uh, plays out here. Um, let's go with Jericho and Hanson, and then uh, they can take on the uh, as far as Shinya Hashimoto and Hanaga. 
like this. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we did this obviously night six. Nice to run this back again. As a uh, steel trim matchup. This time we'll have a Naga beat Jericho. I feel like that's only right. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, we'll have that go actually after that. In the final matchup, we'll go with another singles. I know we already have four of them on the card, but I uh, really want to get Otani kind of over the hump. Uh, I'm trying to think who would be a good person for him to beat and make sense. Uh, maybe Aoagi. I feel like that makes the most sense here. Aoagi will be losing to Shinjiro Otani. You know what, let's make it a tag. Might as well, right? Uh, as far as I believe, Funaki and Otani are the ones that don't have the negative chemistry. Then Aoagi. And uh, we'll go with Akatoshi Saido. Or uh, let's go with Samu Kido, since we haven't used him since December. <laughs> be a good call. There's Otani getting the win. Aoagi. There we go, open, decisive. Alright. I'll actually have that go in the middle between the two singles matches in the on the undercard. So, probably still don't want to run Kanto. And that might be a mistake, but it just feels like it'd be uh, the best case scenario to kind of hold out as long as we can. On that, uh, we'll just run the uh, Nagata City Gymnasium. Ah, actually, yeah, let's run that uh, Kawasaki Civic Gymnasium. So I, I you know, feel like this is going to be a pretty good show. 63 for the opener. Vampiro beating uh, Mitsuya Moto with a nail in the coffin. Then a 10-minute uh, matchup. Otani beating uh, Aoyagi with the Dragon Suplex. Yeah, uh, Otani outperformed Aoyagi, so that just makes sense. So Makita was really off his game, and he stunk it up out there. But at least Funaki and, and Otani did a pretty good job. 62 for Johnny Smith and Tomori Ishii. Death Valley Bomb from Johnny Smith. 81 for fi uh, for the Fighting World of Choshu against Damien and the Gladiator Titans. Shirakashinaka beating Damien. They did the same. So far as 60s there, and Kensuke Sasaki and Roshi Ase outperformed the Gladiator Titans. So, right decision. For sure, is Stan Anson and Jericho losing this time to Naga and Shinya Hashimoto. It's Naga getting the win. It was relatively close. The better team won. You know, probably could have had Hashimoto lose. Or, should have had maybe Hashimoto beat Jericho, but it is what it is. A 90, though, for Regal and Doug Furness. Very shocked with that rating. Regal gets the win with the Regal Plex in 22 minutes. And then uh, Dan Crawford beating Norm Smiley with the Cobra Clutch in 20 minutes. So that gets an 87. Then a 96. For our main event, Shono Amudo, Ultima Dragon, Super Astro. What a matchup. Kaiji Mudo beating Super Astro, the Mudo Lock. A Mudo Lock, rather. But I guess, yeah, I would say the Mudo Lock in this case, with him not repping the paint. But, uh, solid. Very solid show. Nice to have a, a pretty good show going into the final tour show. Night 12 on the horizon. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we made it. We made it to the end of the tour. We just uh, gotta get one, gotta get through one more show, and uh, we'll be all set. Alrighty, night twelve, the final tour show is upon us. So we finally did it. It's the Gata City Gymnasium for this show. Main event will be the six-man tag. It's, it's going to be Kawada and Tawa is the only Demon Army with Hayabusa against Masawa Kanemoto and Jushin Lager. So the Junior Champ with the uh, Unified Tag Champs taking on the challengers. Of the uh, next night, Asawa is going to be Koji Kanemoto. That's a huge win for Tawai over Kanemoto. Gives them a little bit of momentum going into the final show of the tour. Co-main event is going to be interesting. I think we're going to go with um, the Super Astro Wild Pegasus match for now. 18 minutes, Wild Pegasus is going to get the win, which will mean Sasuke. Oh, well, um, Eddie's going to be the great Sasuke. I must have read that wrong. Hold on. Oh, yeah, Super. Oh, huh. Weird. Yeah, I think we're going to have Sasuke beat Eddie 
Now, that's just kind of weird that we had them sweep them. Yeah, that's that's going to be a little bit better. All right, then the Kato brothers versus Junaki and Takeo Mori. So, th they have not had a match since 1993, which is pretty wild. The Kato brothers sweeped them every time. Obviously, that was back when uh, both guys were young lions. So that's kind of crazy. I uh, think how far they have come since then. So, Junaki is going to get the win now. Then our undercard, uh, we'll go with Kikuchi Katoshiga first. Is Kikuchi going to get the win? Then Azuka over Matazuki. Azuka obviously going to get the win there. Uh, yeah, we need a steal the show matchup. Which we will go with a six man for that. Uh, let's see here. Kind of go with the technical technician squad. Uh, but it's going to be Minoru Tanaka, Funaki, and Tamon Honda. And now we'll have it be against. Yeah, we'll have Akutoshi Saido and then Nadeke Osaka and Sotoro Osako. Works for me. Kind of give the win to Damon Honda over Akutoshi Saido. I think it's, uh. I think he'll outperform it. We'll see. It's gonna be pretty close. And then we'll just go with a straight-up tag. This is the last matchup we'll add. Uh, let's go with Sayama and uh, Yamasaki of Shudo. And then we'll go uh, Jackie Fulton and Tommy Rogers. Should be a pretty good matchup, though. Should be. We'll see, but uh, Tommy Rogers is going to get the win over Sayama. Try, try and help him out a little bit. Give him 18 minutes, too. Give him a lot of time. So I was super pissed by this. Don't know what that's all about. But we will keep him strong. Hell yeah. Yeah, we'll have him go on next after the, the sixth man. So let's run the show. So 59 for the opener. Azuka beating uh, Machizuki with the blockbuster hold. In 931. 67 for Kikuchi and Katoshiga. Kikuchi getting the win in 1018. 66 for uh, the six man. That kind of wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Uh, but Damon Honda with a tactical tactician squad. Beating Adeke Ozaka, Satoru Saka, Nakatoshi Saido. Damon Honda with the triangle choke. Uh, getting the win there. But yeah, Damon Honda did outperform uh, Akatoshi Saido. They were both off their games. So that sucks. But uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. The Fantastics against Shudo. As uh, Tommy Rogers with Tommy Knocker over Satori Sayama. Yeah, they're only a point difference. I don't understand. Actually, uh, you know, Tommy Rogers cleared them. So, yeah, I don't, not sure what the big deal was there. And then 73 for the Kano brothers against Junaki Yama and Takeo Mori. It's uh, Jun and Takeo Mori, better team there. But pretty solid little mid-card matchup. Junaki Yama with a wrist clutch Death Valley driver in 18 minutes. 76 for Eddie in the Great Sasuke. Sasuke with a Michinoku driver. And then Wild Pegasus with a Wild Bomb over Super Astro. So that gets an 81. So yeah, that's a 91 for the main event. Hayabusa with the Holy Demon Army beating the champions. As Akira Tawe pitting Koji Kanemono with the Dynamic Bomb. Pretty solid stuff. Glad nobody got hurt in that main event. That could have been a real, real disaster going into the final night. But we've done it. we made it. As uh, the end of the first tour of the year comes up here. As uh, we'll see, will we have a new unified heavyweight champion? Will we have a new unified tag champion? You know, or even a new unified junior champion? So much more as well on top of that as they uh, yeah, on to the New Year Giant Series. Alrighty. So we'll be running a course at the Tokyo Dome. It's crazy. We could probably, probably get a bigger TV station than the USA Network. Which is pretty wild to think at this rate. I just feel like we're climbing... And climbing and climbing our way to the top here. But if actually just sent for Roshiase, he wants to put up a Junakiyama as well. This is going to be a big year for Junakiyama. 1997 will be his year for sure. Uh, but yeah, we want to make sure we're in the dome for this one. 42,000 on hand. Sell out. Yeah, I love to see it. Uh, but yeah, Kendall Kobashi, Dr. Death Steve Williams. As Doc will retain. What a win for Dr. Death Steve Williams in the past as far as, you know, the... It's crazy, their first match was uh, at 79, the Champion Carnival. 
And uh, for the most part, as far as, you know, they've had the draw, and Kobashi's beaten them once before. That was at the 94 Champion Carnival. But really, their singles matches, uh, besides the, the, this Kobashi one uh, when they were at last year for the New York Giants series, as far as for the Unified Heavyweight title, it was a, a 95. So I think it's going to be better than that, though, which is pretty cool. But they've had a lot of matches. A lot of a lot of fun matches. I've always liked those two in real life as far as their matches, so it just kind of makes sense we do it a lot in this save as well. Uh, but the co-main, of course, will be the tag team title matchup. Holy Demon Army, Masao and Kenemono, and we have new Unified World Tag Team Champions. As Tawe is going to beat Masawa. That's a big win for Tawe. Just trying to help elevate him. He was the number one wrestler in the world, so trying to give him a, a, a nice rub going into 1997. That should be pretty fun. Masawa's a bit unhappy with that, though. That's interesting. Uh, we'll keep him strong. Because he is Masawa. I feel like that's the least we can do for him. But yeah, and I believe that's the first time they have been the unified uh, tag team champions. Holy Demon Army. Yes, they have. So that's exciting. That's their first run as that version of the tag champs. Obviously, they were the uh, All Japan tag team champions for a little bit. In the... Next matchup, Ultimo Dragon, Kaiji Muto, all each every way title matchup. Kaiji Muto will retain, so no double champion run for Ultimo Dragon, but that should be a banger, though. That could be the best match on the card. For being honest, Hayabusa and Liger. Liger's going to retain. As far as, you know, they were... They had the time limit draw, I believe, was last... Oh, no, they had the, the best of Junior's finals. That's what it was. Yes, and then Hayabusa won. So they were... This is the trilogy. So Hayabusa winning... Or losing out, rather, on the trilogy to Jushin Liger. It's a nice win, though, for Liger. That should obviously be a hell of a matchup. Any of those four could have been the main event that we just added. In the uh, Can-Am Express British Combat Club, All-Asia Tag Team title matchup, the British Combat Club will retain. Thought about it, though. Thought I mean, can Express have really been on a hell of a run. But we're going to keep it with the British Combat Club for now. As uh, Chono and Hashimoto against Dan Anson and Dan Spivey. As the Stan Hansen is going to get the win over Masahiro Chono. It's a big win for uh, the Stan Hansen and Dan Spivey team. Eddie and Wild Pegasus for Super Astro and the Great Sasuke. Eddie's going to beat the Super, uh, Super Astro there. That's a great win for Eddie. Trying to help him out there in the kickoff the show. Ten Koji with Yuji Nagata against Flash Smash and Bash. As Nagata's going to beat Scott Orton in ten minutes. Hell yeah. What a show. Hopefully it's a, it's a banger. We're really rolling the dice with this opener. Because it's sink or swim with that opener. I think it's going to swim. <laughs> we shall see, though. As a 61, brutal. Tenzan breaks his ribs. Or cracks his ribs, rather. Doesn't break them. But, yeah, Nakanishi was pretty bad. Yuji Nagata was almost one of the best matches. One of the best guys in the match, rather. With a 64. That's really awesome to see, though. Nagata's ready. The man is ready. As he gets the one with the Brainbuster over Scott Noyne in 9.56. We got to add his finishers as well. You know, got to give him that... Uh, the old reverse arm bar and whatnot, but not Manabu Nakanishi was the one who caused that injury. So thanks for botch moves. Thanks a lot. Nakanishi in 83 for the next matchup. Wild Pegasus Eddie Guerrero against the great Sasuke Super Astro team. What a team though for Sasuke and uh, Super Astro because he's I mean he gets a 90. I like, guess super impressive for the great Sasuke. But Eddie pinning uh, Super Astro is super impressive as well. A 90 for Masahiro Chono and Shane Hashimoto against Dan Anson and Dan Spivey. Anson pitting Masahiro Chono with the Lariat. It's a big win for Stan Anson. Obviously, Spivey, the worst guy in the match. Bit of an upset, but it got the crowd hotter, though. So there is that. It's a 99 for the Can-Am Express and the British Combat Club. That fucking British Combat Club team is pretty special. Pretty, pretty special. Norm Smith's a uh, Norman Conquest over Doug Furness, though. It's a nice win. 98 for Ibusa and Jushin Liger. Could have went either way, but... Given it to Liger, it's fourth defense. Gets the one the shooting star press in 32 minutes. Curious, maybe because it went a little longer than probably it should have. I don't know, just uh, is what it is. Just kept out at 98. That's a 99 for Ultimo Dragon Kaiji Mudo. Ultimo Dragon coming up short there, but Kaiji Mudo has been incredible. Uh, just in a short little run he's had here in, in 96 and 97. Basically since he became the Great Mudo and then switched back from uh, Kaiji Muro, just it's went super well for him as of late, and that's been a fantastic matchup. It's a 95 for Kawada and Tawei against Koji Kanemoto and Mitsuru Masawa. 
That's crazy. It was a one-point difference in this matchup. But uh, Tawei getting the win. But they power bomb Nodawa Otashi over Mitsuha Masawa. Hell of a match. New tag champs. You love to see it. Damn, and our main event's only a 92. As uh, Doc gets his first defense of his unified Grand Heavyweight title. Steve Williams, you know, as far as uh, getting the 95-93 the for Kenta Kobashi. It's the right decision, but it just sucks that uh, lack of psychology kind of hurt that match a little bit. Well, yeah, the uh, Okaiji Muda Ultimate Dragon and the British Combat Club matchups were the best things on the card. We had nothing that could compete with that. That's wild. That, that is wild for sure. As, uh, yeah, we're going to give love to Kaiji Muda. We're going to give love to, I'd probably, oh, well, you know, we'll go Dan Crawford, I guess. I'm trying to change it up a little bit. And, uh. Yeah, we'll go Kawada since he got 100 in the tag title matchup. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a hell of a show. It just sucks that we couldn't deliver as well as I thought we would. How about that? You know, sometimes that happens. It's hard to kind of follow some of those matches we we put on that card. But I think the Excite Series should be a lot of fun to see as uh, we're going to have Stan Hansen versus Dr. Death Steve Williams as the main event for that Excite Series tour. As far as the Holy Demon Army looking to make their first defense, we're also going to have uh, Ultimo Dragon and uh, Super Astro taking on the D. Malenko, Eddie Guerrero team. So that should be fun to see. And uh, so much more. As I uh, will catch you guys next time for episode 46 for the Excite Series tour in 1997. Take care, everyone.